we have a fun springtime project for the whole family. It's dyeing daffodils. And this is a pretty simple project you can do. All you need is a little, a little vase or a little jar. We use some warm water. And then we take our favorite uh, food coloring. So we can either use um, like a little gel like this or the little drops that you get. We find that either green or blue are kind of the best colors to show up on there. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna put a few little drops of, this is the little gel in there, into the water there. And then we wanna make sure that with our daffodils, we give everything we have has a little fresh cut on it. So we'll put a little fresh end on there. We're not gonna worry about the sap or the little juice that comes out. And then we can just stick this in here. We'll kind of stir up our gel here a little bit. And depending on how deep the color is will be how much we want, want it to soak up. So the darker the color, the more kind of coloring you'll get up in there. So after it's all kind of stirred, we can just put our fresh cut daffodils in there and then they will start sucking up the coloring up there. And it usually takes a couple days before you start seeing it. And what's really cool is you can use the flowers that are open or you can use them that they're buds because they will keep on opening as you put them into the dye. And this is kind of like a science project. So it's to show that plants, how they take up water in the soil, but you're doing it in the water. So the plants are taking up that water with the dye all the way up into the flower. And you can see that it's all the way at the end of the petals. So it's, it's also a good lesson that when you have fresh flowers in a vase, that that you want to have nice fresh water because the flowers are cut, but they're still taking up water and keeping them as fresh for you to enjoy. You know, this is just a little project, but everyone can enjoy it.